this is my newest cell a dual coil one eighth of an inch 316L stainless steel wire or rod this is the grade of the stainless steel wire and here's my baby in plain tap water as you can see nothing comes up it's just a very limited production since the water is not conductive let me add a couple spoons of baking soda two spoons like this it is drawing 20 amps with that amount of baking soda here we go again with one more spoon of bicarbonate I have to go to the phone Here we go again with another test and the view from the top, from the beginning. One, two, three. This is almost explosion-like. Here's my little cell. I will disassemble it now. This is a very primitive attachment I made here, but I didn't have any other possibilities. Here we go. This is the negative. This is the positive. And this is the smaller coil. I made two lines of holes to hold the, the double coil and here you have the entire setup it is four inches by less than five uh, two inches four by two one eighth of an inch thread but I have to tell you, this kind of setup is really hard work. And that's it. Here you have the lovely coil. You see, it, the coils go one, this one go this way, and the other one goes this way. So that they cross actually, cross pattern. I hope I can measure the production. But I guess uh, it should be somewhere around uh, one liter or so. Now watch this. This is a marine threaded wire. On the other end there's a thread. And you see it's made out of little tiny wires. And this is an idea that came from a YouTuber who saw my videos and suggested I should try because there is more surface in this kind of wiring. If you take marine wire it has the grade of the 316L and it's good and watch what we made. A spiral made out of this very flexible you see very flexible thread so you don't have if you don't have the possibility to to make a spiral because you're not good, you're not doing, you can take this, this kind of wire and I'll show you here 
see you put all the holes in here I, I, I make it shiny so you can see it you have a, all the holes drilled and you just put it in like you are sewing something you can maintain the distance here and the spacing of the wire by adding a piece of acrylic or plastic with the drilled hole at the same distances that you have here you put it in this position and you pass and you pass your your thread in it so you have a distance keeper in between now let's have a look what this sucker is capable of same water as before or a spiral and here we go here we go with the amp reader it's drawing about 17 amps which is very good for this time I think this is all this was a rather a quickie for my standards but uh, I hope you will have enjoyed this new possibility and thank you again to the guy who sent me this uh, this link this message I think he posted it and here you go how you make a spiral Very simple. Goodbye.